What's up interweb? Raikwin here and welcome back to Weird Wi-Fi Battles episode number 11 we're on today. And uh, we missed last week because I was busy with, you know, PPL final week and other things and stuff. But we are back and today we are in RU. Now for those of you that don't know what this series is about, I basically take weird random sets that you guys suggest or I make up my own, either or. And I take them into a tier on showdown and I try and make them work, pretty much. Because uh, I like to be weird and different and I'm weird so it fits. Um, pause. Uh, but basically, we're going to be looking at some weird sets today. So let's have a look at what weird sets I'm going to be taking into RU today. Now first up, um, the comment, the, the Pokemon I've used from the comment has actually changed a little bit because I wanted to use a comment from Zydra21 suggesting a Frostlass. I've made the whole team, I kind of forgot Frostlass was BL2 and not RU. So I wanted to use the damn set. I got excited for the set and I wanted to use it. So instead I'm just using Glalie. I'm using the next best thing I got. Um, so this is Zydra 21, the Glalie. With the choice specs, with Inner Focus as its ability, with Switcheroo, Ice Beam, Torment and Toxic. Originally it had Destiny Bond on Frostlass, but Glalie doesn't get Destiny Bond, so eh. Um, 248 in HP, 8 in Special Attack and 252 in Speed. Timid. Um, so, this thing, you're supposed to switch through the choice specs onto another Mon, go for Torment so they can't use the same move over and over again, even though they're locked into a move, they can't, and then, you know, force some switches and poison things, and, and if you don't want to switch through uh, your, your choice specs, then you have a Specs Ice Beam to go off, which is pretty cool, um, quite literally. So, that is Zodra 21, the Glalie, apologies, I really want to use Frostlass, and I built the team, thinking that Frostlass was RU, even though I know it's not, it's BL2. I don't know, my head was wrong, but I wanted to use a set, so we'll go with Glalie instead, apologies. Um, next up, we have another uh, suggestion from a comment. We have a comment from my man, Epa. Now, I know this guy is a very, very creative battler uh, in his own right and comes up with some really, really fun, weird sets. I love it. So, this is Epa the Registeel, with Leftovers as its ability, with Clear... Leftovers as its ability. Leftovers as the item. Clear Body as his ability, with Gravity, Dynamic Punch, Zap Cannon, and Explosion, Max Defense, Max Special Defense, Sassy Nature. Um, so, when Gravity is in effect, Dynamic Punch and Zap Cannon essentially have an accuracy of around 80%, I'm pretty sure. So it's about the same as a regular Stone Edge. Um, so they're going to miss, because, you know, Stone Miss is a thing. Um, but, it's going to be, they're going to hit a hell of a lot more than 50% accuracy than what they normally are. So, why not? I, I enjoy that. I can I can go I can go for hitting dynamic punches and zap cannons and things. Uh, and I also have explosion because if you're gonna die, then just explode, right? Why not? Um, so that is Epa the Registeel, and then we move on to my sets. And you guys should know by now I suck at nicknames, so don't judge me. All right. Um, first up, we have Medichump the Medicham, and uh, this guy has Light Clay with pure power. With Reflect, Light Screen, Calm Mind, and Baton Pass, 248 HP, 252 Defense, Bold Nature, and 8 in Special Defense. Uh, so this guy's here to set up dual screens. Why not? Uh, Epa actually suggested, in his comments suggesting the Registeel, he suggested that, uh, you know, it really benefits from having screen support. So I was like, why don't I have a dual screen that you don't normally see? Let's go with Medicham, why not? Uh, I also have Calm Mind, Baton Pass, because why not? <laughs> I didn't really know what other two moves to put on this guy, so I saw Calm Mind, I was like, yes! Let's do that, and then I realized he loved Baton Pass. I was like, even more, yes! Let's just put that on. Uh, if I can get some Calm Minds off and get him into uh, Ready Steel, that thing will never die from the special side. And, you know, I'll be having boosted Zap Cannons and things of that nature. So that'll be awesome. Um, then we have, um, yeah, if I can Baton Pass into a couple of other mods as well, that'll be really cool. Um, so next, that's Medichump, the Medicham. And then next up, we have Shroomy number six, the Amoongus. Uh, with Life Orb, with Regenerator as his ability, with Hidden Power, Psychic, Toxic, Energy Ball, and Venoshock. Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest, before and Defense. Uh, so this guy, um, I basically, 
what I want to do is have the Toxic Venishot combo. So he's specially offensive. What's cool about this is he's going to be taking Life Orb Rico a little by little, but I have regenerators. If I switch out, I'm going to get third of my HP back. That's the way regenerator works. Uh, if I really want the Toxic Venishot combo, which is why I put Toxic on the Glalie as well, as it didn't learn Destiny Bond, I need another move. I went with Toxic because I had the Venishock on Amoongus, um, and I was thinking, what stops Energy Ball and Venishock? You know, Grass, Poison, the two stabs, what stops that? Other Poison types and other Amoonguses. Let's go Hidden Power Psychic. Why not? I was considering HP Fire, but I went with Hidden Power Psychic because I like to be different. Alright? Don't judge me. Um, so that is uh, Shroomy number 6, the Amoongus. Uh, the fifth Mon on this team, the penultimate Mon, we have Flygon from UU. Shout out to Richie for the nickname. The Flygon with the leftovers with Levitate as ability with Defog, Toxic, U-Turn and Roost, Max HP, Max Defense, Impish. It's a physically defensive Flygon with Defog and Roost and Toxic and U-Turn. What, what else is there to say, really? Another Mon with Toxic, because then a shock. Why not? Um, and yeah, it's a physically defensive Flygon. He doesn't learn Stealth Rocks, which really upset me. Really upset me. Because I wanted Rocks, damn it! Damn it, Flygon. Um, anyway, that is Flygon from UU, the Flygon. And last but not least on this team, we have Onesie, the Bayonet. Because, you know, obvious nickname is obvious. With the Choice Band, this is not a Mega Bayonet. This is a regular Bayonet with a Choice Band, with Cursed Body as its ability. Cursed Bod... Bod... Cursed Body! English! Jesus! With Gonk Shot, Knock Off, Shadow Claw, and Shadow Sneak. 4 on HP, 252 attack, 252 adamant. So I have... This guy has base 115 attack. Nothing to mess around with. And I have Stab Shadow Claw. Bandit is going to be doing a hell of a lot. Bandit Shadow Sneak is going to be doing a hell of a lot, and it's priority. Knock Off to Knock Off items, and Gonk Shot for those pesky fairies. Pretty much it. It's a Bandit Bayonet, because why not? Why didn't I call it Bandit? God damn it! Anyway, um, yeah, that's the team, and we're gonna jump into RU. Um, yeah, we're gonna jump into RU, and we're gonna get a match, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, here we are with a match against Sean's Ace, and this guy has Chinchino Bronzong Bayonet, which is probably Mega, unlike mine. Uh, Explode, Flygon, and Delphox. Alrighty. Uh, right, let's think about this one. So I gotta watch out for Bronzong, I can't poison it. Um, hmm. Let's see. <laughs> what are you gonna leave with? You can leave with Flygon just for U-turn shenanigans. I I know I know you like to do that, Flygon. Um, what what would be cool is if I can get off a gravity, that Flygon no longer has levitate, nor does the Bronzong. That would be cool. Um Hmm. I feel like he's just going to lead with him and just go for a go for a U-turn. So I'm going to go into onesie and go for a knockoff. Knockoff absolutely destroys his team. He leads with Bronzong. Oh, you don't want to be taking a knockoff, good sir. Um, knockoff absolutely destroys his team. That's amazing. Um, Okie dokie. I could just go for a Shadow Claw straight up. Um, I could just go for a knockoff. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Let's go for a knockoff. He said, <laughs> damage. Sash. Sash Bronzong? Is that a thing? I mean, it, it makes sense, kind of, with the whole, you know, Sash Rocks lead and all that stuff, but Bronzong? Sash Bronzong? Hmm. Might, have to, might have to try that sometime. <laughs> Alright, so we take out Bronzong, that's good. One's he putting in the work so far. Not bad. Alrighty. What are you going to bring in now? Hmm? What are you going to bring in now on a banded knockoff? Bearing in mind, I have max speed investment. Alright, he brings in Jufa the x Blout. He's going to go for a Scrappy Boom Burst, but I, I believe I outspeed him, because I have speed investment. I would I would think I outspeed him, because x Blout is not that quick. He outspeeds me, he goes for the Ice Beam, and it's 48%, and it's disabled! <laughs> and I knock off... Oh, he's Scarfed! He's Scarfed. Scarfed x Blout. But now it means I knocked off his Scarf, so now he can switch up moves. That That's annoying. Cursed Body would have been amazing. Let's go for the knockoff again. He's going to go for Boom Burst, and it is going to kill me. Well, I tried. Um, Alright, now. Hmm. I'm assuming he has max speed investment. Because, you know, Scarf. Uh, so, and I know... No, his Ice Beam is disabled, so I'm tempted to go into Flygon. No, but that's... Mm, then he can just Boom Burst me in the face. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to go into... 
Uh, I'm going to go into Ready Steel. Yeah, let's do that. He may very well have Flamethrower. I'm going to go for Gravity. Let's try this. He goes for Boom Burst. The 17% amazing. Let's get that Gravity going. <laughs> Come on. Uh, he can go into Bayonet, but he's not going to be expecting a Dynamic Punch. Surf. There's nothing. Dynamic Punch. Yes. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Not even bad. All right. Now what? Now what are you going to bring in, huh? You're going to bring in Bayonet and try and burn me? That could be a thing. You're going to bring in Delphox? Try and hit me with a fire stab? It's cool. I'll just zap cannon you in the face. Zip the doo -doo, the Bayonet. Let's go for that nice and powerful zap cannon. He does go for the Will-O-Wisp. He does burn me. Get off a zap cannon. 28% does nothing. <laughs> but it's fine because we paralyzed him. That's the important thing. Because, you know, he would definitely be slow with Prankster. Let's go for another zap cannon. Damage. Another 28%. He goes for the knockoff. Knocks off my lefties. That's not cool, good sir. That's not cool at all. Let's go for another zap cannon. I'm hitting all of these. This is amazing. He goes for a shadow claw and he's... Oh, it's going to take us out. Okay, that's fine though. Gravity return to normal. Uh, so now, I want to bring in something that's quicker than this thing. Um, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to go into Zydro 21. I'm going to go into Glalie. Going to take that rocks damage. I should have gone into Flygon and Defog, but it's okay. I'm now going to go for an Ice Beam. Specs Ice Beam, come through. He's going to burn me, and it's fine because I'm special. Boom. Specs Ice Beam pull through. Now what are you going to bring in? He could bring in Delphox. I mean, I'm locked into Ice Beam, so I don't see a reason why he wouldn't. And um, I'd probably be forced out at that point. I could go into no one. Uh, no one can take on Delphox at all, which is amazing. I'm probably going to Flygon, but I definitely can't take on a Delphox. Definitely a thing I cannot do. Alrighty, in comes Queen Chin, the Chinchino. I'm going to go for Ice Beam again. Tail Slap, nice and crit, good sir. Nice and crit. I believe that crit may have actually ma That crit actually mattered. Wow. Impressive. Um, I'm going to go into... I can go into Medicham and just scare him out. Let's do that. Let's go into Medicham. Let's pretend I'm going to go for a fighting move. I'm not. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Reflect. Yeah, let's go for Reflect. <laughs> nice and dual screens Medicham. Let's go. Let's go, Medichamp. Don't stay in, sir. Don't stay in. Don't be that guy. That one guy, he stays in on a Medicham. That is... 10 out of 10 logic right there. 10 out of 10 logic. And I flinch! He's King's Rock! He's one of these guys! He's one of these guys! Okay, I see how it is. He's King's Rock. Spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. <sighs> Goodness me. Alright. Alright, we're playing this game. <sighs> Goodness, you cancerous bastard. Um, I'm going to Flygon. I am going to toxic this mofo in the face. Don't you dare get another flinch. Don't you dare. Don't flinch me. This is so cancerous. Let's go for a toxic again. Don't flinch me. Nice and crit once again. And another crit. Crit central up in here. Thank the Lord. Jesus. Now he's going to take us out, but I'm going to bring in a Moongus, who he will probably flinch to death, let's be real here. I'm just going to go for a... I'm just going to go for a Defog right now. He misses a Tail Slap! Praise the Lord! Oh my goodness! Alrighty. Can you miss another one? That would be amazing if you could miss another one and allow me to get off a Roost. You don't. And you get a crit. Of course you do. Alrighty. Alrighty, Toxic's wearing you down. I can bring in uh, Shroomy number 6, and I can go for a Venishock. Let's go. Venishock it up. Don't flinch me. Or miss a Tail Slap, that'd be great. Thank you! Thank you for missing that. <laughs> and Venishock just takes him out. <laughs> that is what you get for running King's Rock Chinchino. Jesus. Alright. Now I have nothing for this Delphox. I have to hope I can live a fire move. Um, I can't really go for Toxic and Venishock because I don't think I can live two turns, so I'm just going to have to go for Venishock now and hope 
There's a flamethrower, and we don't even live it anyway. So, it's a life orb, Dale Fox. There was no chance we would live on that. So, we lose against Sean's ace. But we did okay. We're going to go for one more match. We're going to go for one more match. Let's look for another battle. And let's see if we can get uh, something that isn't a King's Rock Chinchino. All right. We have Medicham Exploud against Ch Chatot with two Ts. We have Medicham Exploud, uh, Seismitoad, Amber Palm, Jellicent, and Sigilyph. Alrighty. I can deal with that. Um... What do I want to do here? Let's think. Um, that Jellicent is a problem. I can zap cannon it, which would be awesome. Uh, I, I really, really, really want to lead with Bayonet again. Yeah. I mean, yeah, let's just lead with Bayonet and let's just, just, you know, we'll just knock off. Let's do that. Knock off. Go, go ahead. Set up your rocks. That's fine. Knock off. Damage. Oh, nice and crit. He has a Rhino Berry. What a, what a legend. Legend. Has a Rhino Berry. That's glorious. I'm going to go for another knockoff. Hydro Pump. Damage. Jeez. I'm max speed as well. This guy has some serious speed investment. That's impressive. In comes Amber Pom. He can't fake me out, but he can outspeed me. And hit me up with um, probably a knockoff of his own. So I'm going to go into... Who wants to take a knockoff? Absolutely not. Um, you know who wants to take a knockoff? Registeel wants to take a knockoff. There it is. Knocks off my lefties, but that's cool. He can have low kick, which is probably going to do a hell of a lot of damage, but I'm going to go for gravity. And then I'm going to go for a zap cannon. He goes for U-turn. That's fine with me. He's going to go probably into Medicham, I would assume. Could be... Okay. The gel... Oh, you're going to get Zap Cannon right in the face, good sir. You're going to get Zap Cannon right in the face. There's a Skull Dew with 14%. He does get a burn. That's really annoying. The Zap Cannon does a solid 34%, and we get the power, of course, because it's Zap Cannon. Uh, I'm just going to go for another one. No reason not to. Oh, I miss! Ah, He's going to go for Recover. That's not cool. Um, Burn is really wearing me down. Again. It's really annoying that this Registeel keeps getting burned. I'm just going to go for another Zap Cannon, just trying to get some damage off. Hopefully he gets paralyzed, doesn't get a recover off. That would be cool. Let's go. Come, come on, Epa. Pull through. Pull through, Epa. Epa. Pull through. God damn it. All right, come on, Chatot. Oh, I miss again. Well, I tried. Recover fails. Can we get, like, a, a Mega Super Crit and take him out? And he gets paralyzed. That would be cool. We hit that one. He's going to get paralyzed. There it is. And now we have one more. And gravity wears off. Well, I tried. Let's just see if we can hit one at 50%. We don't. Yeah, that's not surprising. He's going to get off the recover. And register is going to go down. But we have a paralyzed Jellicent in front of us. So I can bring in uh, onesie and go for a knockoff. Nothing really wants to take it. So we go into the bayonet. Let's go for... Should I just go for a shadow block? No, he can go into Anaphon or x -Bloody. He has two, two normal types. It is unwise to lock myself into a ghost move right now. Let's go for the knockoff. How much was the banded knockoff going to do to this guy? Come on. He's going to switch out. Go into the Ambipom. Oh, the damage! Oh, the damage. I like it. Um, He can take me out with a knockoff right now. No one else really wants to take it. I think I'm going to have to let Wanzi go down here. I don't want to, though, because he can do a lot. Ah. It's frustrating. Oh well. Now he's going to see I was banded. And he, the, the, the knockoff is disabled. That is incredibly good. Um, so now he can just go for a U turn on basically anything. I'm going to go into Flug and go for a Defog. Let's go for that Defog. He's going to switch out. Go into. Yep, yep. Fine. I'm going to get up a Defog. And now I'm going to U turn. Does nothing. But now I can go into Shroomy number six. As he goes for nothing, because he's paralyzed. Awesome. Uh, now he's going to be scared of the grass move, I would assume. Uh, so he can go into Sigilyph to take it. Kind of want a Toxic. I know it's going to have Magic Guard, uh, so the Toxic won't actually wear it down, but then I can Venus Shock. But if he stays in, why am he staying against the move? I'm really tempted. Toxic! Oh, he goes into Amp Pom. Okay. 
I mean, that's not quite okay. He's going to die next turn, and he's probably going to go for a fake out or a knockoff right now. Flygon, you can take it. You're physically defensive. There's the knockoff. Does 23% doing absolutely nothing. And the Amberpawn goes down. Awesome! Flygon from Yu Yu putting in a lot of work. In comes the Sigilith. Hmm. That's a new turn on you. He's going to go for Calm Minds. Okay. We get a nice crit off, and we're going to go into... <laughs> we put crit, sad face, in the chat. I mean, I mean, sure. I'm going to switch a Ryu, my choice specs. Good sir. He goes for... Whoa. Oh, he misses a heat wave! Okay, so he gets a specs. And I mean, I get a life orb, but now he can lock himself into basically anything. I'm going to go for a torment. He's going to go for Psy Shock. It doesn't kill me. And I'm going to torment him. <laughs> Whoop! Uh, that actually worked. I can't believe that. Um, now I'm going to go for a toxic... <laughs> ah, now he goes into the meta channel. I'm gonna poison it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Um, all right. Why does he have double letters on everything? He's called Chat and he has Gallade with an extra E, and he has Tentacruel with an extra L. I don't know. Um, I mean, he's gonna kill me with basically anything, so I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam, Life Orb, Ice Beam. Fifty-three percent. That's uninvested. That's amazing. Psycho Cut's gonna take me out. Fine. This thing is now poisoned, which is great. I could go into my own meta jam at this point and try and set up screens. I feel like that's what I want to do. Let's do that. Let's go into meta jam and let's uh, let's light screen it up. I don't think he's gonna stay in. Let's go for a light screen. He's gonna switch out and he's gonna go into the Siglyph. We're gonna get up a light screen. <laughs> nice. Now I'm gonna go for a calm mind. He's gonna go for Psy Shock, does absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go for Calm Mind. I'm gonna go for one more and then I'm gonna baton pass into a Moongus. Which for another Psy Shock does nothing. I don't I can't go into a Moongus though. That's annoying. I can't go into a Moongus when he's going for Psy Shock. Let's go for Reflect. And now I'm gonna baton pass. Psy Shock doesn't kill me. We get off a of baton pass, and we're going to go into the Amoongus right now. And now... Now I Venoshock. You're going to switch out, go into the mid <laughs> You're so dead, it's not even funny. <laughs> now he goes into Chatot 2.0, the x Cloud. I'm going to go for Energy Ball. This is a plus two Energy Ball from a Life Orb Amoongus. He goes for Boom Burst, does 22%. Let's get off the Energy Ball. <laughs> Oh, you're so dead! You're so dead! <laughs> Let's go for that Venoshock. Come on. Come on. Can we get an Amoongus sweep? Can this actually happen? Psy Shock. It doesn't kill us! We're gonna die to Life Orb though. Oh, we take him out! Yes! Get fucking wrecked, bro! <laughs> I mean, I've lost because I don't have any attacks for this Jellicent, but that's not the point. I tried, okay, and we got a moves to kill things. I'm very happy. I'm gonna go into Fly, gonna go for a Toxic. Oh no, he's parried, didn't he? Ah, that sucks. Um, I have nothing to do to you, sir. Absolutely nothing. Um, well, uh, I mean, I have U-turn as my only attack and move on any of these two Mons, so this could be a long one. Let's go for U-turn. It's gonna do nothing. And he has recover as well, so this is this is gonna this is gonna be fun. And I die to a scold. I'm gonna bring in Flygon, and he's gonna die to a scold as well. He also has lefties. Um, I can do nothing to you. Um, can you like reveal aromatherapy, <laughs> please, so I can toxic you? That would be that would be awesome. Let's go for U-turn, and it's gonna do nothing. And he gets parrot. I mean, yeah, U-turn again. Mm-hmm. Scold. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. This is it. Yep. Okay. Mm. If I wanted to really be an arse, I could just drag this out and just go for Maroos, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um Yeah. Uh he says GG, so I say GG. Back there's Hex, and then I die and then he wins the battle. So we didn't actually win. Once again, we didn't win. Um but I am so freaking happy that I managed to get a Carmine Baton Boss into Amoongus and then actually killed like three things. Amoongus pull through! Um, oh, that was awesome. 
Um, yeah, so we didn't win, but I just, the whole point of this, I'm not expecting wins, I'm here to showcase off Bond, and that's exactly what I felt like I did in this one. I'm really happy, and we managed to get gravity, dynamic punch, and zap cannons and things, we've got a banded bayonet to work a little bit, and uh, flygun tank some hits, which was awesome. We got the switcheroo torment glalie going as well, and uh, we got some dual screens meta charm goodness too, so I feel like we did a pretty good job on the whole team there. Uh, we didn't really win, but... We displayed the whole team and that's what I want to do. So, thank you very much for watching episode 11 of Weird Wi-Fi Battles. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any set suggestions that you want to see in future episodes of Weird Wi-Fi Battles, Weird Wi-Fi Battles, leave a comment down below with a weird set suggestion and I'll stick it on my list. I do have a pretty hefty list going at the moment, but uh, I'll eventually come to your comments and we'll try and use as many of them as possible. The ones that look like they might be a lot of fun, I'll try and use them in future episodes. So, stay tuned for more weird Wi-Fi battles as, loads of, as well as loads of other content on this channel right here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Laters.